Welcome to day 10 of our new year self-care practice. Today we're going to be talking about creating a bedtime routine for yourself. First we'll discuss the benefits and then we'll discuss the practice. If you like what you hear in this video, make sure to hit that like button. And if you would like to keep up with this 30 day practice, make sure to subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell. So that way, when I post these videos, you will be notified. So what are the benefits to creating a bedtime routine? Number one is improved brain function. Number two is elevation and mood. Number three, decrease stress levels. And number four, helps performance, weight loss, and your overall health and well-being. So when you are rested and you're allowing your body to have that time to rest and restore at night, or during the day, I guess, if you work night shift, whenever you're allowing yourself to have that time, you will see an impact on almost every single aspect of your life, mental, emotional, physical, all of the things, mind, body, and soul. How do we create a routine at night? There are some really great apps out there and even alarms or timers that you can set on your phone to remind you that it's time to get ready for bed. I would give yourself 30 to 60 minutes at night to start to calm down and come down from your day. It's always suggested that you turn off your electronics two hours before bed. So for some people, this isn't quite doable. If you prefer to watch TV before you sleep and things like that, it will make a tremendous difference if you can shut off those electronics and more specifically, those blue light screens so that your body will start to produce its melatonin and you will be able to chemically get ready for bed with the, the natural release of chemicals in your body. Another suggestion with turning off of those electronics at night, another big suggestion is wearing blue light filters and uh, filtered glasses and making sure that you turn on those blue light filters on your phones, your computer screens, those types of things. Some of them call them like nighttime mode and stuff like that. But that just helps to, again, allow your body to start generating the chemicals, the hormones that it needs in order to get ready for bed. So we have giving ourselves 30 to 60 minutes, making sure that we turn off our electronics. And, and like, again, within that 30 to 60 minute range is whenever I would say it's very important to go ahead and turn off your electronics. So the next thing and wearing your blue light filter glasses or turning your blue light filters on. And the next thing is reading something off of a non-electronic device. So if you're going to read a magazine or read a book or look through um, something, you know, try and do something that's off screen that's going to encourage your eyes to get sleepy and get tired. I really like to read books before I go to bed because I really can't get very far in them, into them until I'm like, okay, I'm ready to go to sleep. Get consistent with your routine and set a sleep time. So again, with preparing that 30 to 60 minutes before you go to sleep, try and go to sleep at the same time every night. It's really good to create routines in your brain. Your brain loves systems and routines. So if you can routinely go to bed at the same time every night and get up, it really does help you to get up at the same time every morning. And as you do this, it really helps you to create that natural rhythm that you're like getting ready for bed around 10 or 10.30 or whatever time it might be for you, eight or midnight or whatever it is. And you know, you after about 21 days of doing this, you will really notice that you're tired around that time. You're ready to start coming down. You're ready to start calming and you know, like just get comfortable. Avoid alcohol before bed. 
Avoiding alcohol before bed can be a tough one, especially if you work long hours and you come home and you just wanna have a drink and you're exhausted and you've had a long day and you're stressed out. So it can be really hard to try not to have the alcohol before bed. But that goes within that two hour time frame. also. Try and allow that alcohol to circulate out of your system before you're laying down and going to sleep. Whenever we do drink alcohol before we go to bed or until we go to bed, it really does mess with that melatonin. It actually prevents your body from producing the melatonin that you need to go to sleep and stay asleep. And there's a lot of other negative side effects to drinking too close to your bedtime. If you're going to eat before you go to bed, make sure that you eat light and healthy foods. I'm like the absolute worst for like if I'm hungry at night and it's like past dinner time but not quite like too late in my book to eat, I always wanna eat something that's like horribly unhealthy, like tater tots or french fries or you know, a bowl of ice cream or a glass of milk. Try to make sure that it's something very light and healthy that's easily digestible. Whenever we go to sleep, our digestive system is really working hard once we go to sleep. So try and keep that late night snacking to you know something really light, fresh, and healthy. Drinking hot tea before you go to bed can be really soothing and relaxing. There are some really nice blended teas out there that are just, you know, sleepy time tea or bedtime tea. But if you didn't want to go with some like pre-packaged, you can really go with like some chamomile or some um, turmeric and ginger can be really nice and even just hot lemon water with honey in it can be really nice just to kind of cozy in bring the energy down and create that relaxing routine before bed another great thing is keeping a journal close to your bed like if you have a nightstand or something a bedside table you can set your journal down sometimes just getting your thoughts out of your head for the end of the day, maybe even taking a moment to review your day, uh, highlight your day, maybe, uh, what is it called where people say, say what's what was the rose and what was the thorn of the day? Like what was the high points, what was the low points? Sometimes you have that ongoing to-do list that you will lay down at night and it'll keep reeling through your head and you can't sleep because you're just thinking about what you didn't get done. Sometimes brain dumping and just pouring that out on a piece of paper and knowing that it's written down, you won't forget, it'll be there tomorrow. It can really help you calm your brain down, relax your mind, and get ready for sleep. And one of my absolute favorite things to do before bed is to listen to a guided meditation. There are wonderful apps out there, YouTube channels, there are individual sellers, there are so many things. Uh, SoundsTrue.com has a lot of really great audios that you can download and just getting that soothing guided meditation or guided imagery where you're relaxing your body and relaxing your mind. I notice often before I started this practice a long time ago that, and even if I skip out or I've just had a long day, I'm like laying in bed and I'm like all tensed and I'm all scrunched up. And then I'll be like, oh my God, why are you doing that? You know, like you're so tense just laying there. Your face is like all scrunched, just laying there. You're like super tense. So I really love these uh, sleep hypnosis, guided meditations, guided imageries. Uh, some of them, I want to say like Headspace maybe is one of them that has like bedtime stories and it's just you know it's a really great way to come down relax your mind and get ready for sleep and 90 percent of the time if i listen to one of those i fall asleep before it's even over so if you suffer from sleep issues like insomnia not not that this is a, a you know if you have like a severe insomnia obviously that's treated by a doctor but if you do have issues going to sleep and things like that try this practice of making a bedtime routine another thing is 
getting out in the sunlight during the day. So they say like 20 minutes of sunlight a day. Again, even if it's cloudy, it doesn't matter. But being outside for at least 20 minutes a day helps your body's natural cycle and natural rhythm for creating melatonin in the evening whenever the sun is no longer out. This is all that I have for you today. Our day 10 of New Year self-care, all about bedtime routine. If you have any comments or questions or observations, please feel free to leave those down below. And if you have any favorite guided meditation or sleep hypnosis videos, apps, or anything like that, go ahead and drop the link down below. And I want to thank each one of you for being here, spending this time and space with me. I will see you in the next video.